arrogance, I shall see you dead. Yeah. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. See this? This is my boomstick. It's a 12 gauge double barreled Remington. S Mark's top of the line. You can find this in the sporting goods department. That's right, this sweet baby was made in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Retails for about $109.95. It's got a walnut stock, cobalt blue steel, and a hair trigger. That's right, shop smart. Shop S-Mart. You got that? <laughs> now I swear. The next... All right. This video is gonna involve fan theory on why Ash's boomstick is much longer on Army of Darkness versus Evil Dead 2 or Ash versus Evil Dead. Now, we have to remember, and I'm gonna show you this right here because I have one of these. On Evil Dead 2, it was sawed off to about right here, to about probably two inches past this bottom stock. And also on Ash vs. Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2, they're the same gun. Now, in Army of Darkness, what you have is what is called a coach gun. And if you want to try to find a Remington for a decent price of a double barrel and a coach gun, good luck. You're not going to find it. it they were impossible to find. This is a Stoger. Uh, Stoger is a brand owned by Benelli. They retail for about $499.99, and they have different models of it. Here's where it comes into the theory of it. Now, Evil Dead 2 was filmed in North Carolina I, back in the 80s. And I don't know the gun laws back then, but the gun laws in the U.S. now is a shotgun can't be any shorter than, than 18 and a half inches barrel length, which is from here to here. 18 and a half is the legal length. These are sold at 20 inches, and it is called a coach gun. They're based on the guns that uh, people who would ride on uh, stagecoaches would have whenever somebody would try to take the stagecoach or rob them, things like that. Especially uh, Wells Fargo uh, stagecoaches, they use these. They use the shorter barrel. It's for shorter distance uh, shooting. Basically to hurt somebody and maim them, it wasn't meant to kill, but they did what they had to do back in the Western days. So, Here's where it comes to the theory. Now, like I said, I don't know the gun laws in the 80s or what were what was in North Carolina at the time, but they filmed in uh, Army of Darkness in the 90s in California. Now, California has major gun laws. There's a lot of restrictions. And to get a sawed-off shotgun shorter than 18 and a half inches, there would be a lot of red tape they have to go through. They have to have the gun approved that it could be done they have to put an application for it they have to bring it to a gunsmith have it stamped on the barrel and it has to be visible that it is stamped so you'd have some all the way across here a thick stamping of who did it and the paperwork would have to reflect on who did the work and the gun would have to be issued to one person so in my thoughts and my my conclusion to the theory of why the gun is longer and they use the coach gun is they didn't want to go through all that pain or time because it's usually about a six months. It's about six months to a year to get approved for that. And filming time and shooting time, you really don't have that. Now, Ash vs. Evil Dead is filmed in New Zealand. I don't know their gun laws because I know they do have an actual gun that is, that is sawed off on the show. You can obviously see it. It's it's there. There's no faking that. If somebody replicated one, they did a dang good job of it because it to me it looks like the real deal. So, in conclusion, the reason why the one off of Army of Darkness is longer than the one from Evil Dead 2 or Ash vs. Evil Dead is because of the gun restriction laws and the pain and time it would take to get one approved. So, 
If you want one that's, if you want to go out and buy one that's as close as possible, look for one of these Stogers. Make sure you're at legal age to buy one. Get it registered. Don't do it illegally because that's wrong. And do not saw off your shotgun barrels because if you get caught with it, you will go to jail and you will get a huge fine because that is a felony. So do not do that. So if you want to go out, get one of these legally. It's called a Stoger. You can get them at 12 gauge or 10, or not 10 gauge, but 20 gauge. I haven't seen a 10 gauge one. That'd be kind of cool though. Uh, in the future, I may do a video. Actually, I'm going to plan on doing a video. This is a leather holster, over the shoulder holster for one of these uh, stagecoach guns. Once I'm doing the build for the uh, chainsaw hand, then I'm going to do the build for the book, and then I'll do one for the full harness, which that's going to be fun. It, they're not hard to make. I've I've made a harness in, in an hour, so they're not too hard to make. They're fun, and we'll do that. So, oh, and just a quick fact here, and from that point I left off the video, and I'll let you guys do this for yourself. On Army of Darkness, when Ash twirls his gun and puts it back in the holster and says, now let's get, get to talking about how I can get home. That is not a real gun. If you notice, the barrel is shorter like it is on Evil Dead 2 or Ash vs. Evil Dead. And it's in these guns, you aren't going to twirl them. You got to be pretty big and pretty strong to twirl these and have a really long arm. It is shorter. It is not a real gun when he twirls it. But when he used it in scenes for shooting, it is one of these 20 inch barrel. Sto well, it might not be a Stoger because Stoger really wasn't around back then, but it is a 20 inch length barrel coach gun. So. Until next time, you guys have a great day.